My beautiful Sagittarius, welcome to your 1 till 15 September general tarot reading with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. And this one is for money, for health, as well as for love. All right. There's no time stamps. I want you to watch the whole thing because they all tie in with each other. Okay. So Sagittarius, we're going to start off with money. So let's take a look and see what we have. This one is for Sagittarius, dealing with a Sagittarius, wherever you got Sagittarius in your chart. Whatever brought you to this reading, there's a message here, and it's a powerful message because a card fell to the floor. The hanged man in the reverse position. All right. So when it comes to money, my beautiful Sagittarius, so this is money, it's career, it's finances, it shifts, it's courage. There's a sense here of, you know what? I've got my Sagittarius muscles on and I know what I know and I know my capabilities and I know who I am and I know what, I'm, what I can do and so I'm just going to go on what I know and it must work out. Now I'm not saying that that is wrong but what I am saying is that it's like you surrender and now you're kind of looking at God with a checklist. Okay, now when now? Now when now? Okay, now when now? Okay, come on. You do your God thing. What are you really doing in that space? When you think about it, you are focusing on the, the fact that things are not the way that you want them to be. You are focusing on the fact that, yes, I surrender, but now nothing's happening. That is sort of like the direct opposite of surrender. Okay? So I'm going to say surrender again. Okay? Hand over the situation to spirit again. Okay? When it comes to money, when it comes to a breakthrough, when it comes to a move, when it comes to a shift, or when it comes to a change. There's no such a thing as semi-surrendering. Semi-surrendering is not surrender. It's the opposite of surrender. Okay? And I can tell you from personal experience, when we surrender, really surrender, things work out for us quite magically, quite fast. You know? In a super jazzy, snazzy sort of way. Yeah? All right, so let's see what else we got here for money. Career, finances, shifts, changes, courage, moves. So we got the temperance energy, which is your energy, Sagittarius energy. And we got the star energy, which is Aquarius energy. Okay, so Sagittarius, if things are not working out for you where you currently are, it is because you are destined for new, for more and for better. All right. You are destined for new, for more, and for better. That's just it. Okay? And life is trying to make you aware of that. And life is trying to let you know, Sagittarius, that regardless of where you are, whether you're here or there, or even if you're in a space where you're feeling neither here nor there, Spirit want to let you know that I'm there with you. And I, I, can, I can create miraculous breakthroughs for you, miraculous changes for you, miraculous shifts for you. But you got to allow me. Can't do nothing if you don't allow me to. Okay? Um, Spirit want to let you know, literally, like, I've got a plan for you. You know? Spirit want to let you know that, that Spirit got the plan for you. And it's better than the plan that you've made for yourself. But... You know, while you are in this 50% surrender vibe, you're not really aligning with it. You're not attuning with it because you are still micromanaging God. You know, you're standing there with a checklist. Okay? <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. And the only person that is maybe being held in a space that you do not appreciate is you, my beautiful Sagittarius. So maybe you want to let that go. All right. And if you are open to a beautiful breakthrough, to a beautiful shift, to a beautiful alignment that is in your highest interest and in your greatest good, Sagittarius, place your hand on your heart, take a nice deep breath and say yes to it. And, you know, write it down and say, yes, I'm ready. And know that your big dream is possible. Your big dream can come true. But that means that you have to be in 100% surrender, not 99.9%. And when you are in 50% surrender, you are also 99.9%. 100% surrender. All right? And here's the thing. You may not like to give up control, but here's the thing. If things are not working out for you in the best way that you are trying, then maybe it is best for you to surrender. You know? 
because then things can go better faster in a more amazing way for you. Who wouldn't want that? You know? Let's look at health. So health is physical health, mental health, spiritual health, emotional health, all that sort of thing. All right? Whatever you're dealing with, I get that maybe not all of you, but somebody might be struggling with their sensuality or their sexuality rather, their personal identity. Is this really who I am? That sort of thing. And we've got the four of wands and the five of pentacles. So maybe do find out who you are. What makes you happy? When you play scenarios in your head, what makes you happy? You know, with health, what makes you happy? What makes you feel balanced in your life? When you play scenarios through in your head or you look at your past, what have you done that made you happy? Who made you feel happy? What made you feel happy? What company made you feel happy? What task, what coaching or workshop or job or what space were you in? What made you happy? There is a lot in there for you that can lead you to a positive direction. But sometimes you say, oh, you know, well, that was really cool. But, you know, I was younger then. I didn't have these responsibilities and da 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 that is us talking ourselves out of a good thing. And you will call it logical reasoning. Okay? Um, because there's a sense of, well, what is it that made you happy before? And there's a, a fee, I pick up a belief here that you can't have it again. But here's the thing. If you had it once, you can have it again. Regardless of whether you are older, you know, have a solid job, you're married, you're in a relationship, you live in a different place, you've got a car that you got to pay, you got kids, you got a dog, whatever... You can have it again, and it might be better than it was before. Life just duplicates upon itself. It really does. So if you had it before, you can have it again. It can be better this time around. Okay? It, it can be better this time around. If you allow it. So say yes to it. Place your hand on your heart. Yes to it. Better this time around. All right? If you're open to learning and shifting and changing, check out the links for my online courses in the description. They're very good. Okay? First couple of lessons are free. Let's take a look at health more. There's a sense here of I don't deserve the good things or they're not going to come my way. How about you open yourself to the idea that a helpful resource from an unexpected source can come aboard and they can help you to do things so you don't have to take care of everything yourself anymore. That would be a good thing to open yourself to because that is what source is saying to you is available to you. One more card. Ace of Wands. There's helpful support that's coming across here for you. Somebody to help you, somebody to support you, somebody to be there for you. So let people do things for you. Do not be so stubborn, my beautiful Sagittarius. Let people do things for you. You know, don't feel like, well, you know, if I let somebody do something for me, then, you know, I'm indebted to them and I trust them and what da 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 Now, obviously, you're not going to go and be stupid. But, you know, yeah, this is what I'm going to say to you. If you are dealing with people that, you know, that, that it's never sort of like something for nothing, that, then that is a financial contract. That is not a friendship. Okay? Or it might not be them. It, it might be that you're in the wrong crowd, but it might also be that you need to maybe work on your own trust issues. Where is it coming from? What childhood issues is it coming from? What disappointment is it coming from? What are you trying to prevent from happening again? Because here's the thing about that. The more you try to prevent something, the more you actually draw it to yourself because it's what you focus on. All right? So maybe it's time to get some help and support there with working through some blockages that are actually keeping you from the good life that you want to have. All right? Let's look at love. And if you're open for the right support to come your hand on the heart, nice deep breath, say yes to it. Write down in the comments, I'm ready, I'm open. I'm ready to receive. King of stars, king of wands. All right? With love. You are ready for that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful love. And that might even be if you are already connected to someone and already committed to someone, that maybe you need to stop waiting for the second shoe to drop. You know, a lot of times, and this is something that happens with you, with your energy specifically, Sagittarius, a lot of time you lose out on something really, really beautiful because you're consistently waiting for the second shoe to drop. And the other person could feel that. They can feel it, even if you don't say it. And then, you know, they bring things up and they may say they always feel judged. And you'll be like, what do you mean you're feeling judged? And da, 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 da. No. Okay? Don't do this to yourself. Don't be the kind that beats your own back. Okay? You are ready for love. You are ready to trust. You are, 
you are mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, you are ready. But only you can give yourself permission to be happy in life in general. Okay? Two of swords. Might you already be with a good person or, you know, uh, is there still some lessons you need to learn or are you just holding yourself back for no reason? Because there's beautiful, positive, wonderful love that is loading here for you. Beautiful, positive, wonderful love. Okay? And so if you open yourself to living that life that is just amazing, love will naturally follow for you naturally but when we try to withhold ourselves from something we try okay well i'm not i don't want to get hurt again so better the devil that i know type of vibe you know um then you are withholding yourself from love you're withholding yourself from the compassion of the creator that is so you're holding yourself from a solution that is available for you okay you're basically ensnaring yourself in a in a very ugly and nasty trap free your soul so you can be free and happy and you can just be the beautiful person that you are in your head you can be that person in reality okay that's what i have my beautiful sagittarius i hope that it helps remember to like share comment and subscribe and i look forward to connecting with you on the next video